and this is Mark Pacheco, president of Anime FX. Tonight we'll be asking him his opinions on the sudden popularization of Asian films being remade for Amer Mer America. So Mark, um, have you seen the, the Ring, The Grudge, and its original counterparts? Um, for the Japanese versions, I have seen The Ring. And for the American versions of the um, new re-releases for here in America, the American versions, I have seen those as well. And uh, frankly, I'm actually scared by the American version, and I laugh more from the Japanese version. I don't know why. I think it was just the way it was done cinematically in America. That, you know, for example, with The Ring, the videotape itself will look more freaky to me than it did in the Japanese version. The Japanese version was just, I don't know, I can't really describe it, but I've seen, I, I had more sense of fear watching the, the, the ring tape in the, um, in, in the American version than I did in, Jap in Japanese, especially with the deaths, the deaths involving it. It was more like a, um, it was more comical, the death, rather than the actual, uh, uh, actual, the, the actual uh, Japanese version. Moving on to another, in, on the same topic of uh, film and cinema, what do you think of the sudden popularization of Asian elements and Asian themes being brought into movies? For example, Memoirs of a Geisha will be released in um, next month, and um, Last Samurai was even popular in Japan, and Kill Bill even used um, um, parody um, Japanese movies and Chinese kung fu movies and even he's a little bit of anime in it. Um, what do you think of um, this Asian trend in um, today's, today's American cinema? Um, pretty much I have two opinions on The first one is I think America is really running out of ideas to seem to have a nice way of like as they borrowing a very popular trend and turning it and marketing it very well. Yeah, it just, it just seems that America's pool of ideas is it's, it's dry, at least in my opinion. And the second opinion is I think it works really well because a lot of the younger audiences and even those who are like very, what is that word, very, uh, shoot, um, very enthusiastic, there you go, very enthusiastic about studying the culture and the, um, and just the nature of I guess Asianism itself, or being Asian in general, is a very nice, is a very nice, um, is a very nice touch. Uh, the trend, I think it's because that, you know, a lot of, I think a lot of things have been imported over here. As we were talking before about the rings and movie being remade for American audiences, I think it's because of that reason that they want to bring more of the influence. And it's a good, it's a good thing, although I think America really is running out of ideas. Um, in the, as mentioned before, anime has become more mainstream and the popularization of Asian American popular culture has seemed more into our mainstream, including our children's toys. This Brad stall has been advertised as having anime style eyes and having the sporting Harajuku fashion. Where, what do you think of this guy? He's a very sporting guy. I mean, very nice. I mean, kind of reminds me of what I was wearing back two semesters ago, but um, other than that, I think it really does bring forth the ideas. I mean, it's a nice touch here. I mean, book bag here, the CD player. It comes with a toy mecca, but it, it doesn't come with it. Oh, that's fine, that's fine, but yeah, I mean, it works fine. And it works pretty well. I mean, to even now have a toy is actually being marketed to be like animation general, aside from the actual anime toys, like you know, and Pokemon, and you know, uh, shoot, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh like, cards. Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, of course, the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Mm -hmm. And you know, so so many like anime, anime is things in general for me on the toys. Yeah, that that's actually a very it's a perfect example of how the being everything being brought over is something being a lot more. Okay, that is all we have for today.